Before getting married, know your partner's financial situation. So discuss this unromantic topic, money, before you get married so that there are no surprises. I'm Tessie. I'm not a financial or family counselor. I'm just here to express my opinion and you can take it or leave it. Do you know your partner's debts, financial obligation, financial common sense? You should. Even if people say money is not everything, let's face it, it is a big part of our lives. It controls our activities, especially in a marriage where you have to deal with another person in terms of saving, spending. Let's go to the first one, debts. And I'm going to read this. According to Northwestern Mutual 2018 Planning and Progress Study in the U.S., millennials aged 18 to 34 carry an average of $36,000 in debt, mostly from student loans and credit cards. They put 34% of their monthly income towards paying it down. So if you're marrying a millennial with loans, you need to discuss how he's going to pay, when he's going to pay it off, etc. Don't hide your debt's future spouse because he or she will eventually find out about it. Second, financial obligation. Family. Family financial support. This is very common among Filipinos who immigrate or who become citizens to support and continue to support their families in the Philippines, especially their ailing parents. Now you need to tell your partner that you intend to continue to do this, of course, based on your resources. Unless you are married to a rich man who agrees, who is okay with this situation, you cannot really hope your spouse to support your family. Otherwise, your priority should be your own family, especially if you have children. Next, child support. Naturally, if you know your partner has children from previous marriage or marriages, you need to know how much he's obligated to pay so that you can budget. No surprises. Another one is child support for adopted children. The reason I mention this is because it happened to someone I know. She was dating this guy who had no biological children but was married to a woman who had two children from previous relationships. He did not tell her that he actually adopted these children. As soon as he signed the adoption paper, his wife then divorced him. Of course, that showed a combination of love and stupidity. And I think he was embarrassed to tell her that until they got married and the baby was on the way. She found out that $500 was missing from his paycheck. And that's when he admitted to this obligation. So, do you want to start your marriage with a lie? Financial common sense. Some people think that as long as they have a job, they can have unlimited debts. What if this person gets sick or loses his job? How is he going to pay it off? Some of the red flags are, number one, they usually do not tell you they just made a big purchase like computer until they take it home and you have no chance of saying no. That's one. Number two, obviously, there are a lot of credit card statements coming in. 
Number three, they're always in the casino or horse track. And obviously buying expensive stuff like expensive cars when he cannot afford it or expensive clothes if she cannot afford it. Next, trusting your money to a stranger. There was a successful Filipina who was dating a foreigner and then married him. She saved around $25,000 over the years. The only money she had in the world. Trusting him, she put it in a joint account. A few months later, the husband left and took the money, all the money with him. Don't let this happen to you. Next. Ah. Prenuptial agreement. A prenup is an agreement by a couple before they marry concerning their respective assets in case the marriage fails. If you're marrying someone with assets, chances are his or her lawyer will advise that they sign a prenup agreement. Otherwise, there will be suspicion on you, who do not have a lot of money, to run away with his wealth if you divorce. It is also common where there are children from previous marriages to protect the children in estate planning. The will will specify which funds will go to the children so that they are protected from your spouse who is not their biological parent. Do not be offended by prenup. They actually make sense. Now there are also prenups that are one-sided. And this is where in general you should consult a lawyer before you sign this prenup. What if you don't have a lot of money? What if you have you get divorced and you have nothing. You are in the street with nothing. No money at all. You also need to protect yourself. So again, consult a lawyer to give you advice before you sign this agreement. Well, tread wisely. As I said, discuss this unromantic topic with your partner so that there are no surprises. If you feel you could be trapped in your partner's financial obligations, maybe you are not ready to spend the rest of your life with this person. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.